Hello everybody, welcome to the first ever wa weekend wild card. Now, once again, obviously this is me, Burgo, but um, what I wanted to do was I wanted something to do on the weekends and I didn't want it to be uh, part of a series or another series to manage. Um, so we're just literally going to be playing random games. It might be a continuation of a series that's already going on. It uh, it might be a brand new series that we only do at random times for the weekend wildcard. I'm not sure. Um, but for right now, we're going to do some solo adventuring in DC Universe Online. Um, and if, if you ever see me online, guys, feel free to add me as a friend and you guys can come adventuring with me. Most likely, I'm recording. Um... And I'm going to do this while Lars and Mud Dog and Rowdy and Kenji are all kind of busy. Um, just just to get some of the more technical parts uh, of the gameplay out of the way. Now, obviously if you guys have seen, um, I'm playing as a Gadgets Hero. Now, the best possible role for a Gadgets Hero is what's called a controller. And a controller is um, someone who grants energy to heroes, who stuns enemies, who does, you know, the conditions to boost the powers of the other heroes. And they're kind of like, they're just a utility character. Now, they can pretty much take any any creature on one-on-one -on -one, uh, with a ton of stuns or just being able to keep yourself alive with different buffs and whatnot. Now, um, we're just going to wait for this to load really quick. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I mean, I don't mind looking at Power Girl, but, you know, it just gets... It's like, come on, let me play the freaking game! But... Alright, here we go. Alright, what's our mission? Hurry to Cape Carmine. Okay. First, we're actually... I'm gonna switch our mission here. Um, we're gonna do Attack Brainiac. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Uh, Oracle? Okay, I think we just need to go over here. I'm gonna turn our volume up here a little bit. And this is just gonna be like a really chill, just hanging out with me gaming session. If you don't want to watch it, it's okay. If you do, even better. So, let's, uh, let's turn these effects down because they're really loud. Music, that's fine. Movie volume, that's fine. Oh, I didn't even change it. Whoopsie. Let's turn our voice volume up just because that's important for dialogues and whatnot. And I feel like that's kind of fun to listen to. All right, let's talk to the SCU sergeant. Hello. Me, robots. All right, eliminate invading Brainiac drives. forces. Let's get down to it, baby. And uh, I mean, I've played this game quite a bit, actually. Let's go ahead. And, oh. oh boy. Let's go ahead and do that. Ah oh, yeah. Now these guys can do. They can mob you, and, and you can get yourself in a buttload of trouble, but it's not too big of a deal. Do that slip shot there. And I really like this game because, I mean, I was actually talking about it with Madigans and Dogcraft.net chat the other day. Um, if you haven't checked out Dogcraft.net, go freaking do it because it is one of the best communities I've ever been a part of, and I've been part of my fair share of communities, so... Um, definitely go check him out. It's just fun. Uh, you can meet Rendog. He's the biggest YouTuber uh, by far uh, on Dogcraft.net, and I have the privilege of being able to say that I kind of work with him. Uh, he's been a pretty busy guy lately, so I really haven't had a chance um, to communicate with him too much, but he's a good dude, man. That's for sure. Right, let's just keep munching on these Brainiacs. Oh, uh, yeah. Only three more yet. Not too bad. And I mean, like, when you get multiple players all going for the same goal, it's really not that big of a deal, but it's just fun. And uh, you might see me do some of the same missions um, by myself or without, with or without Lars and Mud Dog. Um, but we're Brainiac we're gonna we're gonna keep we doing missions anyway. He's targeting my comm signals. Uh -oh. Hang on. Ooh. Oh, that was not a pleasant sound. Okay, let's go down here. Let's go ahead and get this. Finally, a signal. Get ready to move. Brainiac is capturing other exobite targets. So attention, citizens of Earth. <laughs> Do not attempt to resist, or you will be destroyed. Let me go ahead and turn this the volume down again. Some more. All, it contains already belongs to Brainiac. 
already. Your resistance oh. only prolongs the inevitable. <laughs> Whatever, Brainiac, you're crazy, man. There we go. Yeah, we can still hear it a little bit. It's just not overwhelmingly loud like it was, which is nice. So what we do here, guys, is we just pick these guys up. Um, and we'll go ahead and scan this, too, so we can get some more dialogue. Lois Lane reporting for Daily Planet Live. Whatever, Look up Lois. in the sky. Is it a bird, a plane, or one of the new here. heroes and villains <laughs> battling the Brainiac threat? One thing is sure, even with the conflict between Superman and Lex Ooh. Luthor, or Wonder Woman and Circe, the only enemy they all have in common is Brainiac. Brainiac! Stay tuned for more as the battle against this alien invader plays out. And that is kind of cool. Um, I like that they have superheroes and villains working together in this. Um, but at the same time, it's also... It's kind of annoying because it's like, you know, what's what's the point of being a villain uh, if you can't... If you can't actually be a villain you're still trying to be basically being a hero actually more being an anti-hero you're just beating everybody up you know it's i mean it's cool i mean i i don't have a problem with it by any means but it's just it's just stuff like that that kind of annoys me and it's not even that annoying it's i don't know it's just two teams working to achieve the same goal and it's like why would you even make a game like that if why would you even make two teams if they have the exact same goal but whatever it's not a big deal by any means all right that's that's taken care of let's go ahead and finish these guys off Systems use our little taser wire there come at me bro alpha protocol engaged. i really like the guns they go very very well um with with the gadgets tree i like them a lot and taser him and grenade him damage sustained <laughs> and I mean there's some actually really cool skins that you can get eventually just look really good I like the costume customization in this game um, it's just very cool and it, I mean it's not it's not a new game by any means but it's just I think it came out in like 2011 and at first it came out as a $15 a month buy the game subscriber type um, and then and then they made it so that it was free to play, and I think their revenues went up. Like They went, like, literally through the roof. It was amazing uh, the type of comeback that they were able to pull off uh, just go by, by going free to play, which seems a bit strange, but, God, I certainly didn't mind. Critical damage. It's going to do some damage here. Come at me, bros. I really like the grenade because it does so much damage. Beautiful. All right. Soon. Systems failing. There are a lot of different abilities that um, enemy. these guys have. It's going to do that. I don't know what it does. <laughs> we'll have to look it up, what, what it does in the damage roll. Damage and our roll is indicated um, by the symbol up in the way top left corner. Let's get out of here before we get our butts kicked. Let's move it. Oh, acrobatics power! Oh, crap. Let's go. Come on, quick. Come on. Okay, good. We got out of there. Do something! No, I already did something. Get out of my life, chump. I'd actually like to live stream this game at some point, but Hang we'll on. find out. Oh, ooh, ooh, not pleasant. Switching signals, just a... Let's go ahead and head this way. Okay, I think we have to like disable these. Oh, jeez, these things are so ooh, annoying. Mad. He's targeting all of my calm frequencies. Oh, great. Luckily, I know a few tricks. We pissed off the so supervillain. Wonderful. Zero. <laughs> With all those troops and ships, he'll start bottling any moment unless you stop him. Alpha protocol. Now this part is really hard to do, Subduing like without a group. But I mean, I've done it before. Subduing it's not target. that big of an issue, but it's just a bit target annoying. Because like you can't be interrupted while you disable Damage those big sustained. array things. So Alpha protocol. these things respawn so fast to keep up with the like literally the army of superheroes that comes through here fortunately like okay. disabling it goes fairly quickly so you don't have to worry too much about it but minor damage and we might mess around with like costuming and stuff while we're doing this i don't know we're just here to have fun guys like i really don't have an objective for the weekend wild cards it's just having fun it's just chilling with your Systems bro burgo um 
this is absolutely what I loved to do as a kid. Um, I loved watching my brother play video games. Um, and it was uh, so much fun. My favorite thing to do because I felt so cool that I was like cheering for my brother while he was playing all these games. And I mean, he would play stuff like Mortal Kombat and Mario Kart 64 and all that stuff. But so it's a bit, a bit different game audience, but at the same time, it's really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you don't, that's okay. I just enjoy doing it. This is my like time to unwind from the week, and I just want to be able to share that with you guys because I like you. Cause I like ya, I guess. <laughs> Let's go and pull these guys in. See, the beautiful thing about it, like a controller roll, is that you basically control where your enemies are at, where they go, who they hang out with. You're basically their mom. Initiating combat. That's how I see it anyway. I really like it. You can pick where they want to be. You can pick how long you want them to be there with your stuns. It's just one-on-one -on -one combat. The I I think anyway. I think the controller is unparalleled. I've won a lot. Like, you can duel other superheroes uh, in this game, whether you're on PvP or PvE. Let's go ahead and do this, just so I can avoid these idiots. <laughs> I like doing this a lot. You guys already getting this done. Sweet. Let's see if we can maintain the aggro on those guys so we don't have to deal with that. Yeah, we got Alpha it. Protocol Good. Engaged. And take out the spark. Sorry, friend. Now we can avoid their melee attack. Stun them. Watch the grenade do its thing. Beautiful. And I mean, some people can get this down to an art form. I used to play this with a group of friends in college, and good lord. Uh, my buddy Tommy, um, combat. he was absolutely insane at this game. He was so good. Let's go ahead and complete this quest. Nice what do we got name. next? Those were the comrades messing right. with my signal. All systems go, and Brainiac doesn't even All know right. what hit him. Let's head, head back, back to, to the, the station. For a hero's welcome. Awesome. Okay. So Hopefully we get some, like, gear or something. Gear is extremely important in this game, especially... Um, and not so much for, like, fighting NPCs, because that's not really a big deal. I mean, obviously it helps, but... Gear is so important in this game if you want to do anything at PvP and... In PvE, it helps, too, because a lot of, like, the endgame quests, and that's uh, Cersei, I believe, uh, a lot of the endgame quests have um, a requirement to have, like, certain amount of ar certain amount of armor. But nice let's go job. ahead and talk to Officer Galliant. Some time to form a we got a pendant. Awesome. Very cool. Let's go ahead and equip that. Uh, oh, wow. We have a lot of stuff that we can equip here. Holy crapola. Let's go ahead and change some of the stuff. Now, I have all my skins locked because I really like that. Um, let's go ahead and equip these soda colas here. What is this? Oh, okay. We just have a full stack. That's great. That is fantastic. Okay. So, let's go into our style tab here. Let's see what we have here. I might. I really like the schoolyard thing, so I might say, ooh, that looks really nice. The fourth world's okay. I'm not a huge fan of the fourth world. It's just the first skin that you get. It does look really good, though. Antifreeze, not so much. Let's stick with our with our schoolyard vest. Anything cool for pants? We just got, <laughs> just got briefs. Okay. We're back. We just have that standard cape. It doesn't really look good, though. Not for me, anyway. Uh, plasma pistols. Do we want that? Um... Or do we just want the standard ones? Let's stick with our standard ones. I really like that. Colors, I'm fine with. Let's go ahead and save that. All right. Let's head up to the merchant and sell some crap. Uh, we really don't have a ton of stuff to sell, so we're not going to be, like, completely loaded. Anything but in that's particular fine. you're interested in purchasing today? Um, I'd really like to just sell stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go and sell this crap. Now, um,. I believe, I believe that if you're just a standard member, I'm a premium member because I've purchased DLC, um, so I gotta hold a bit more money. I think uh, a normal, normal member only gets to hold like a thousand in cash, which is not much at all, um, and then the rest goes into your like escrow account, which is fine. I mean, it's just stuff you have to purchase later on. Um, who the hell do I talk to? 
we want to do this? Yeah, we get, let's head to Cape Carmine. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do some of these missions. Back out into the streets, baby. Oh, come on, guy. You don't have to break everything. Jeez. What a guy. All right. Let's go ahead and head over here. Oh, it is a beautiful Saturday, guys. I thank you so much for joining me. If you if you like the video, actually, let's do a race. Because races are actually super fun. And uh, basically what you do, you just follow follow the emblems. You get a little Five, style four, point for it. Three, it's pretty cool. Two, one, go. Let's go and activate our movement power. And it, it's adjusted. I really like how they do uh, the races in this. Because it's adjusted to your power. Um, it's not it's not the same race for everybody like the acrobats have one race the flyers have a race the speedsters have a race We really got to watch out for those guys those little flash dudes see we already got it. We got a platinum Beautiful, let's go ahead and get out of that and we can just continue on uh, From the finish line. So that's great. Excellent job me. Let's listen to this. This is Gotham Now, and I'm Vicki Vale. The menace known only as Brainiac has attacked our planet and bottled up our cities. Yeah, yeah we know. He's leveling entire neighborhoods in his quest mm. to regain the Exobites. Luckily, a whole new generation has risen to fight this menace. And how? Some led by our own Batman and, believe it or not, the Joker. Ooh. These are our best hope against the alien menace. Indeed. The old jokester. I don't. I don't know if Brainiac could actually beat Joker because Joker's just so freaking insane. It's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and head over here. Hurry to Cape Carmine. We certainly took our sweet time. Hopefully they don't get too upset. What's this do? I think these give us like map exclusive collectibles. I can't remember. Yeah, we can collect this stuff. Awesome. 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 Okay, what do we need to do here, Coach? Let's go ahead and get this. Ooh, ooh. Bane is back in Taking hits. He uses venom to fuel his immense strength and brutality. And now his gang is selling the stuff all over the East End. Oh. Venom's a short lasting steroid, not your typical street drug. <laughs> Take some samples for analysis. Know all about street and drugs. Get that venom <laughs> off the streets. Exactly. Get away! Uh, so we're cleaning up the streets of Gotham over here at Cape Carmine. Just have eaten the thugs. Vicky Vale exclusive. Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, is a widely used symbol of Bane's followers. Let me get that. Let's just beat these it. thugs up. I love missions like this because I feel like I'm actually doing something. Quick, get it to the lab. Come at me, strong man. Come beat that guy up. I really like um, that, like, even though the class is more more of a ranged or my weapon class it's more of a ranged attack um you are also good at at melee which is sweet it just makes you much more versatile it's not the best but i really like it anyway let's go ahead and get this what we're doing is just destroying these and getting venom samples so we'll go ahead and do that it's nice that there's not a lot of people over here this makes things a whole lot easier. Let's go and get that. This is Bane's turf now. This is Bane's turf now. Oh no! Awesome. It's just beating down common thugs. It's not not difficult at all by any means. Protect the stash. And get those. This guy. Go and send a grenade at this guy because he's a chump. Whoa! Get that. All right, that objective is over. So now we just have to take out uh, the strong men that are like hauling crates around and pretty much everybody else. So. Gonna do our machine gun there. Hop, the hopper. Man, no. Okay, we need to find strong men delivering, delivering crates. There we go. Hurry up, the cops are Come on, strong man, what you got? got him and they're just a bit tougher um, I think anyway they're just tougher than usual those are just agents so we need to find strong men they can be extremely elusive there's one let's get him with our taser wire there 
take him out. Ow! Go and electrocute him. Hey, yo! Hurry up. <laughs> the cops are coming. And take him out. What? Ugh, I hate other heroes that are like trying to be cool because we're easily 30 times as hardcore as they are. Let's get this guy. Fortunately, I think they're just coming off the ship, so they shouldn't be too difficult to find. Let's go and kill this guy. Awesome. We're at 7 out of 10. Let's see if uh, we can get a few more to spawn up. Maybe. Might have to go search in a bit. I don't really want to. Lazy superhero. <laughs> ah, here's one. Hurry up! Oh, ow! <laughs> We'll do this mission. I think that'd be good. Quick, get it to the Actually, land. no. Let's let's get it all the way up to where we do the mission. Because for each one of these little like tidbit parts, um, there's like an actual mission where you fight the You're super villain, as you saw in Lars's last DC Universe video, where. where oh yes, we leveled up. Yes! Samples are a weaker version of Bane's, Bane's usual venom. Let's go and equip these shoulder pads. Like Holy crap. Oh, they're the biker ones. Can destroy your body. Um, we're gonna stay away from them because they look goofy. <coughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and do this mission. Ooh. These things are called X bites. They're very cool. Venom. Extremely volatile and short lived. Ooh. So Bane's thugs need a constant supply to keep up their strength. See if you can find his main distribution center. Okay. And convince Bane's <laughs> main distributor to find some other means of employment. Oh, yikes. Okay, interrogates Bane's street soldiers. Let's go and time up. Confiscate You'll Venom from Razors. Bane's okay. thugs to give up their main supplier. Take out their Venom injectors. They'll talk. <laughs> Jeez, Beth. Sounds like you've done it before. Vicky Vale on Claylock, the god of water. This image is used by many of Bane's more fluid fighters. Don't tell me anything. Okay, we don't even need to be beating these guys up anymore. We need to find razors, and they're they're kind of smaller guys. They're like this guy here. They have switchblades. They do an awful, awful amount of critical hit damage. Um, they're actually quite dangerous if you're not careful. Show his face around here now. A razor. Call him Razor Ramones. <laughs> Let's go and get that. Fortunately, I think they drop they drop like multiples. Uh, which is really nice because it's just kind of a pain in the butt to have to grind these guys um, until you, by chance, get enough. Let's keep running around here. What's this? Do we need to go up? Is there something going on up here? Oh, jeez, yeah, there is. Let's Hello. talk to this detective. We're trying to see if we can collect the basic injectors. The Gather hopper, hopper venom injectors. That, the venom okay. Can't enter their system. How about it? Can you grab some? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. And uh, the guys with purple names, <laughs> Cosmos is Jones, that's pretty funny. Um, they're villains, uh, but since we are on a PvE server, uh, we can't we can't attack them. So that's actually a good thing. Uh, because from the looks of it, all of these guys would kick our ass. So it's kind of stuck like that. Wait. Venom is supposed get that. to make me invincible. <laughs> Not so, friend. And I actually kind of feel bad beating up these druggies because they're like they're just so hopeful um, that Venom is gonna like change their life and turn it around or whatever. But not so, my friend. That's why you should stay away from drugs. Let's see if we can actually hit someone. <laughs> you just be, made the last mistake of your life, nice. fool. A fool. Don't call me a fool, fool. <laughs> Just annihilate this guy with bullets. <laughs> he won't even get to us. <laughs> All right, we're looking for hoppers and razors, so we kind of want to look around for that. Let's finish this mission up. Razor, come at me! Thank you. 
Who's that? Uh, Burgo. <laughs> Ow, that really hurts. I'm sure. What gives? I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's a hopper. This stuff's worth more than you, bro. Whatever. I'm a superhero, man. Look out! Ow, that really hurt. What gives? Yeah, these guys are kind of few and far between. Holy crap! Let's go and get when this. I get some of the big ready stuff. to rumble. I like that that's concealed uh, by a dumpster. That's <laughs> that's really funny. Let's go and pound that guy with a grenade. And throw this. And get it. Terror scope. Doesn't sound like a very good superhero. The sun is shining. Wake up with our fire and ice spiced iced coffee. It's always sunny at Sundollar. Okay. Got that. Let's kill these hoppers now. Just pound that guy with bullets. Let's go ahead and complete this. I think we can. Just get a bit of extra XP. No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can find a few more hoppers. We don't have too many. Too many more. Oh, it is. So awesome. Feel the burn! <laughs> Doing some Pilates up in here. Let's let that grenade do the rest see these guys oh these guys are so good they do like really good combos they do good damage they just can't take much of a beating so kind of works i like that the the villains are balanced in this game a lot there's another hopper the hopper look he's getting big while we've got him tased fortunately he won't do anything all right we got seven out of ten shouldn't be maybe two or three more Protect the stage. Sometimes they'll drop multiple. Let's go ahead and aggro this guy so we can tag him. Get some loot. Great. Awesome. Looks like they already took him out. Dang it. Yeah, we did get it. Good. We got the loot. Sweet. Okay. One more. And then we're going to go do the kind of like storyline mini mission. It's got nothing to do with you. And then we'll save the rest for when we meet up with Lars and Mud Dog and Rowdy again. Hey. All right, let's go ahead and get this quest completed. Got a bit of extra experience, uh, so we can level down. up a bit quicker. They do level you up quite a bit in this game. It's really, really quick. Really like that, just because you like be you don't get bored, and then there's plenty of end game content uh, once you get past level 30. Let's go ahead and talk to this detective here. What do you got, detective? We've been tracking Bane's distribution system through Gotham. They've made me as a cop, but you could get through and check out those two. Okay. So what we have to do, it's basically a supplemental quest uh, to this mission uh, where we need to do a bit of extra work. It doesn't actually take that long. Um, so not, not a big deal, to be honest. What do we got going on in here? Man, what are we taking damage from? Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. This is not good. Why didn't these guys load? Okay. I have to drink our soda cola here. And that oh my gosh, guys. This is this is not good. Holy crap, we're gonna die. Holy crap ola. Oh no! Oh, that's so annoying. Our our enemies didn't spawn. Didn't spawn fast enough. I, I, I'm blaming my internet for that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Let's restart. Uh, we don't have to completely restart, which is nice. But uh, let's go ahead and do this the right way now. <laughs> Gosh, that's annoying. Oh, well. It's fine. It happens. It really does. It happens. Let's go ahead and kill that guy. All right, here's one of those computer terminals where we're downloading the distribution lists. Let's go and do that. And apparently downloading, um, maybe it has like a DRM, I don't know, restriction on it, so Wait. you can't like Venom is supposed to make share your invincible. files, I don't know. So once you download it so many times, the computer explodes, I guess. <laughs> Got a razor here, let's see if we can stun him and keep him at bay as much as we can. Oh, why am I attacking the barrel and not the guy that's trying to kill us right now? Good grief, the targeting, target this guy! Ugh. Yeah! Yeah, you weren't ready for that, were you? Alright, finally, after 30 years of 
attacking barrels. Good grief. Anything cool in here? Sometimes there's like secrets and you just want to get that stuff to get the the whole grip of the story there. I don't know why the targeting is so god awful. Just lock onto him. It's not a big deal. Ow, that Eat it. Really hurt. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Sorry. Let's go ahead and do that. You there, dog! Come at me. Let's go ahead and tase him. Yeah. Muscle. Oh. Almost got these fools beaten up. Eat my feet, fiend. All right, let's move slowly up here. We don't want to end up like last time, that's for sure. Let's go and throw you a grenade. Just made the last mistake of your life. <laughs> I'm sure. Hey. Let's just spam these grenades because they're so freaking good. Eat my grenade! <laughs> Potato masher! God. How many bad dudes do we have in here? None? Good. Glad we could download that first, anyway. You're on our turf now! Yeah, I'm well aware. Idiot. Have a grenade. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Beatdowns all around, baby! All right, we've got this one last muscle guy here. We'll just kick his butt real quick. <laughs> Too much of an issue. Let's feed him a grenade. Oh, he's got a buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's tase him. Can't do anything about it. Can't handle me, bro. Too, too hardcore. All right, let's download this. What the hell was this? Oh, guess we need to take it up here. Oh, okay, I see. There we go. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but whatever. Oh, Venom Supplier Diego, baby! I'm this is like Dora the Explorer's just like brother or whatever. Alright, took him out. Let's go ahead and read this. Oh, jeez! It's coming at us already. Oh! Nightwing's like here! You could use some help. No, no, that's, it's, uh, it's not necessary. I can can handle it. Let's go ahead and stun this guy like a mofo. Can't handle it. Yeah, don't worry, Nightwing, I got it. Um, really don't need your help. Just, oh, jeez. Yeah, maybe I do. <laughs> I'll take out the little guys if you can if you tank him. Venom supplier Diego. What a joke. Diego's plated belt. Awesome. You got lucky, punk. I know. That's all. Pretty lucky dude. Bane kicked the venom once, but he's back on again. And the last time he was using he Vicky Vale exclusive. Bane's recruiters here. often bear the image of Kamakshli, god of the hunt. Even with their distribution hub down, Venom is still out on the street. Yeah. Destroy it. When oh, Bane's hopped okay. up thugs object, take them out and <laughs> detach their venom injectors. Okay. For their own good. Let's go ahead and get these distribution lists, though. Real quick. A little extra experience. Never hurt anybody, so. All right, let's go talk to Nightwing and see what's up. Hello. I thought one Bane was bad, but with venom on the street, everyone thinks they're a backbreaker. <laughs> good to know you're out there taking care of it. Yeah, and how, Nightwing. And how. All right, let's head out. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, do we need to do anything else? No, I think that is good for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this weekend wild card. Um, we might be doing this again. That was kind of fun. I definitely, I don't think I'll do it two days in a row. Um, we'll do another wild card tomorrow. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to keep up with the rest of my videos, Feed the Beast, uh, Dust, Jedi Academy, and of course the old weekend wildcard. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, we'll see you next time.